Hello guys, welcome back. So now I want to start talking about resilience. Resilience is the ability to return to a normal state. All right. So here the normal state is a secure system. All right. So here we will find these options here. Remediation tickets. It will help us to assign tickets to specific users to solve the findings. And here we have compliance policies. We will talk about compliance policies and we'll see how to create, how to adjust the compliance policies according to our needs. Here we will see the compliance audits because we can perform some, some audits against targets here. And I will show you how to do that. And we will work with business process map. This is very important. Business process map will help us to understand to have of a view of what can happen to our systems, our network, if we have a breach using exploiting one of the vulnerabilities. Business process map will help us to analyze the situation of our organization and to see the impact of exploitation. I will show you and I will work with you to set up all of these options one by one all right but for now let's talk about remediation tickets okay let's go ahead and click here remediation tickets so we have no tickets here and we cannot create tickets from here because we want to assign a task to a specific user or ourselves to solve or to fix a vulnerability okay so what we need to do we need to find the vulnerability we want to assign to another user and from there we can assign that vulnerability to a specific user all right so for that we need to go to scans we can go to results to vulnerabilities or even to reports let's go to reports all right so here let's select this one metasploit table let's select this report let's go to results okay we have here the results we have the results we, and we have the report. The next step is to fix the vulnerabilities. Okay. But to do that, you won't be able to fix by yourself all of this because I'm sure that you don't understand all of this because here we have vulnerabilities regarding to many things, many different things. Okay. Databases, uh, protocols and so on. So the idea of this, you won't be able to fix all by yourself. Oh depending on the number of the vulnerabilities detected during the scans because if you have a list like this okay if you have a big list it can be hard for you but if you have a different department it department in your company in your organization you can assign the specific vulnerabilities to the specific departments all right so let's suppose for example os end of life detention let's work with this one we just need to click and after that we need to click this icon here okay after clicking this icon here you will see this icon here this icons here this one to add node override and this one here create new ticket so we want to create a ticket from the vulnerability so go ahead and click here create ticket and here we need to creating ticket we want to assign this vulnerability to a specific user. Here, we need to select the user to fix this vulnerability, okay? We are assigning a ticket to this user. But before that, you need to know the rule of each user, okay? Because you can assign a ticket to a specific user, but that user doesn't have access to that ticket. Before you assign, you need to go to users, administration users, you need to see the names first and you need to see the rules of each user for example you cannot assign a ticket to john for example to solve a problem because he's a guest so what you need to do first you need to see the rule of each user and after that you can go and assign tickets right for, for example let's assign tickets to peter let's go back to this area here and let's assign this vulnerability as a ticket to Peter because we know Peter as admin rule and let's type here for example please fix this vulnerability until Friday and let's click save doing this Peter will receive this ticket all right so what we need to do now to check 
we need to log out, log out okay but here you we can log in in the same browser with different users you can do that all right so to do that let me open uh here let's open about this tab here and now let me log log out so i will log in with peter user peter and i will type the password sign in all right so here we are logged in as admin as you can see and here we are logged in as peter let's go to resilience and let's go remediation tickets and as you can see we can see here the ticket we assigned to peter assigned user peter because here okay assigned user peter modification time and here as you can see we have here the status and here we have the actions icons okay here so that you can see here the status is open so peter can come here to this icon to edit ticket and he can change the status here to fix it to closed okay he can change but for example let's suppose that the key ticket is open so now the status is open and here let's let's click fix it because peter and admin user who assigned this ticket to peter has access to this ticket okay i will show you in few minutes so if you Peter changed the status to fix it and he tried to save he won't be able to save because he need to provide a note for this fix okay let's type here for example I fix this vulnerability upgrading the OS all right so now he will be able to save all right and you can see the status here fix it so now if we go back to admin user and we go to resilience remediation tickets as you can see here the status change it to fix it so now the supervisor or the, the user who assigned a ticket to peter can come to actions and can see here can see here or can check can go now can go to the system to verify if the system is already upgraded or not just to confirm and after that let's suppose that peter fix, fixed this vulnerability and now the supervisor can come to here and change the status to close for example closed okay and type here closed ticket all right so it means that the supervisor saw peter's note and confirmed that the vulnerability was fixed so after that you as supervisor can come here to close to not for close and close and type here something closed ticket okay problem solved all right so now you can go ahead and click save as you can see here the status changed to closed and here as you can see here even for peter the status changed to closed all right so this is how you assign tickets to specific users in order to fix this vulnerability all right let's go back to reports here all right let's go to metasploit as you can see you can see ticket here so i don't need to worry about this for now because i assigned the ticket to specific user to fix this vulnerability all right so that's all for now see you in next lesson